G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to the second episode of Season 2 of the Man City Dream Team Career Mode Series. Before we get into today's episode, I would like to thank you guys so much for the overwhelming support you have been showing on the series lately. A month ago, I would have been absolutely over the moon if I woke up in the morning, checked my video and saw like 150 likes. But the past two videos, I've woken up Checked it, 400 likes. That is just absolutely mind-blowing. It really helps me validate all the hard work I've been putting into this series. When I see you guys leaving your comments telling me that it's your favorite series on YouTube, how much you're loving it, that just, I, I really enjoy that. I don't know, I've always been a very sentimental person, so I do appreciate that, and I'm, yeah, it's really nice to see all this hard work coming together, so yeah, thank you. Anyways, lads, in today's episode, we have more transfer business to get through. Will we sign a new goalkeeper? Will we sign a world-class centre-back? We also have some pretty huge games, two finals, the Community Shield against Spurs, and the Copper Europe against Napoli. We also have our opening game of the Premier League season. Can we go back to back we will be taking on Watford quickly lads if you do go on to enjoy today's episode don't forget to smash that like button again hit that subscribe button if you are new around here we are pushing for 30,000 subscribers before FIFA 17 but let's get into your press conference questions so the first question comes from Potato. He says, do you think that you're getting sacked if you don't win the treble this year? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if I got sacked. I don't think we deserved to get sacked after winning the treble last year, but we, we should be winning it anyways. Our squad is better, what's well, going to be better than it was last season. So realistically, we should be doing it a lot easier. Jay the Beast Dragon says, what do you think about Harambe wanting Ronaldo's dicks out for him? Rest in peace, Harambe. <laughs> JJB Raps says, there is a rumor going around that Neymar is mad at you for signing Ronaldo as well as him, thinking that he won't get enough minutes on the pitch. What are your thoughts on this? As you will see against the game against Spurs coming up, one of you guys did leave a suggestion on formation. I have taken that on board where we can have Ronaldo and Neymar in the team at the same time. So all of Neymar's queries and concerns will be put to bed once he sees the lineup that I plan on rocking. I was very confused when I signed both of them. I needed both of them in the dream team because it's a dream team. They're both dream players. But I was concerned and curious as to what I would do with formations as well. But we have sorted it out. It's A-OK. -okay. You're going to be good, Neymar. And finally, Andy Martin says, Are you planning on making any other signings? Yes. I feel like it is crucial that we bring in a world-class centre-back before the end of the transfer window. We have Otamendi and company as our starting centre-backs, but I feel like we need a top top of the world center back to really come in and solidify our back line. Otamendi's been fantastic in game for us last season. Company was all right and company's starting to get on a little bit, starting to go down in overall. So it's going to be good, hopefully, if we can bring in a world-class center back to refresh our back line and make sure that we're going to be strong for Joe Hart once again. So thank you guys once again for your awesome press conference questions. Don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section down below. But let's get into the gameplay now. Can we sign another player? So I asked you guys about Joe Hart's transfer. I asked if you wanted me to sell Joe Hart and bring in Manuel Neuer. The majority of you guys said, yes, do that. However, my main focus for today's episode is to bring in a world-class defender. I am going to decide for the moment, just for the moment. I might change my mind later in the episode, but right now I'm going to reject this offer from Everton and focus on a world-class centre-back. So transfer offers here, Ilkay Gundogan and Sergio Aguero. Atletico Madrid say 36 million for Gundogan. Let's see how much we can counter offer that for. So I think for Monaco, I said like 56 million. I'm going to say 52 million here for Atletico Madrid. Spurs want Aguero, 40 million. There is no way I'm selling Aguero to another Premier League team. We are going to go now and put in a few transfer offers for some world-class centre-backs. The first centre-back I'm going in for is Jerome Boateng. So we will submit a transfer offer here to Bayern Munich. 
He's valued between 38 to 44. What I'm going to do is I'm going to offer up his value of 30 million, not 120, 30 million to start off with. We're also going to go in for Sergio Ramos here from Real Madrid, the Spanish center back. Let's see what they say for him. So he's much cheaper than Jerome Boateng, but of course, Boateng is younger. I'll put in an offer for him. I will offer up his value of 23 and a half million pounds. Mats Hummels has joined Chelsea in this career mode series, but we will go in for him as well. He is 86 rated, 31 to 35, so he is, again, cheaper than Boateng. I'm going to go in and offer his value up of 26 million pounds. So let me know what you think about kit numbers for players. For our new signings, I have given Thomas Muller number 25. That is the number he wore for Bayern Munich. Neymar has been given number 11, which means Aguero has gone back to his previous Man City number of number 16. Messi stays number 10, and Ronaldo goes to number 7. So the first game for this second season is going to be the Community Shield. We are taking on Spurs, the team we played in the FA Cup, sorry, the Capital One Cup final. So here is the Spurs starting 11 for this game. So they got a pretty strong side from what I can see. Harry Kane, Eriksen starting, Hugo Lloris in goals, Moussa Dembele in the midfield. Spurs will be hoping to perform better than they did in last season's Capital One Cup. Of course, a 3-0 victory to us on that occasion. Asian, but our side here, this is our strongest possible starting 11 right now. Shout out to one of you guys. I will leave your comment right here with the squad. This is the squad that you told us to rock, and I'm going to rock it. Oh, shit. Ericsson's open early. They hit that one. We are very lucky to not be behind. Well done from Gundogan. Zabaleta jumping over the challenge. Passing that one to Neymar. Neymar. Trying to get past the defense. They're sitting pretty far back, Spurs. Neymar plays that one to his former Barca teammate, Jordi Alba. Whipping that one in. Hits it. Oh, Messi hits it when I went to go for a friggin' Ronaldo to hit it, I think it was. Go on, Ronaldo. Playing that one through to Ilkay Gundogan. What can Gundogan do? Can he get us the lead before half time? Gundogan wrecks that defender. Goes back to Messi. Messi turns. Messi hits it. Good save, Hugo Lloris. Spurs are attacking. Kyle Walker. Going to Eric LeMayer. Whips that one in there. They get the header, but Kane doesn't get much power or direction on that one. Danny Rose. Crossing that one. Get your header on it. Get it away! Oh my god, I thought we conceded. Messi wins it back. Messi passes that one to Thomas Muller. I see you. Good ball there from Muller to Aguero. Come on, Aguero. I see you. Back to Muller. Muller's gonna hit it off the crossbar! That would have been an absolutely fantastic debut goal. Uh, now Spurs go straight up the other end. Oh, company with the failed clearance. How have we not conceded there? Spurs with a last gasp attempt here. Can they steal the community shield in the 90th minute? They cross that one. Get it away, company. Good stuff. Can we hit them on the counter? No, we can't. We are heading to extra time for the opening game of this second season. Can we steal it from Spurs in 30 minutes additional time? Oh, no, it's going straight to penalties. Okay, I didn't realize that. Let's do this. So here we go, a penalty shootout. The first one for the series, I do believe. Can we be heroes? I'm going to go left on this first penalty. Harry Kane just shoot it for Spurs. He chips us down the middle, the bloody Penenka. God damn it, Harry Kane. What can Aguero do? I'm going to go top right-hand corner for this one. Aguero safe from Lloris. That is not what we needed. Ah, oh, damn, guys. All right, I reckon LeMayer. Oh, he's putting not much power on it. He stutters. Ah, and he put, send us the wrong way. God damn, lads. Come on, Muller, on debut. Nobody from our team's found the back of the net yet in today's episode. Muller hits that one. He finds the back of the net. That is a crucial penalty. And now we have to try saving this one against Sun. What's Sun going to do? I reckon left. Sun, left. Saved from Hart. Get in there. What a guess. Now, Neymar. I'm going straight up the guts here. Neymar off the crossbar and he, he got it? He got it. Okay. He got it. Come on. That, I thought he missed that one. Straight off the crossbar. Mason sends us the wrong way. I think we're level now on penalties. Cristiano Ronaldo. I didn't hit that one very well. I'm going bottom right. He scores it. Thank God for that one. If we save this, I think we might win the shootout. Moussa Dembele. Not much stamina. I reckon he's going to hit that one over. Save from Hart. Is that the shootout? No, it is not. If we score this one, I believe we win. Come on, lads. Lionel Messi 
Can he win us the Community Shield? I hit that one pretty poorly. We're going bottom left. That was a shit penalty. That was a disgustingly bad penalty, Messi. Oh, that was so bad. Come on, left. Oh, he finds the roof of the net. Now it is game, set, match. And Joe Hart's taking it. God damn. I thought this would happen. Joe Hart, keeper versus keeper. He's got decent penalty stats. Joe Hart, I'm going right. Come on. Oh, he scores it. I thought we stuffed up there. All right, now it is sudden death. This is a super long penalty shootout. Out of real. He's going right, I reckon. He hits off the post. There we go. This is to win the community shield. Pablo Zabaleta, can the right back do it? We're going to go bottom left corner. Yes, there it is. We win the community shield on a penalty shootout. Pablo Zabaleta gets in there, son. Our first piece of silverware for this second season. What an intense penalty shootout. Let's see if there's a trophy celebration. I'll leave you guys to it. So Fofana has left the club, he was only a little bit of dead wood considering the side we're trying to build, so good luck at Bolton mate. So Real Madrid want 44.5 million pounds for Sergio Ramos, what did I say originally, 23.5 million, that is not going to cut it, I'm not going to pay 44.5, I will bump it up to 30 million here, 30 million and a half. Bayern Munich want 58.5 million for Jerome Boateng. That is a lot of money, of course. Uh, I will go up to 48 million, or sorry, 40 million. I'm not going to pay 58 and a half, though. So Atletico Madrid come back and say 39 million for Ilkay Gundogan. That is not going to cut it. I will say, I'll say 52, and that's probably as low as I'm going to go. And another player, another Deadwood player has been sold to Bolton. This time, it is Pablo Maffeo. Moving there for £575,000, which means we get an extra £500,000 to add to the piggy bank. Another transfer offer here for Joe Hart. Ajax want him. I, if I sell him now, I have to have enough money to bring in Manuel Neuer. And I looked up Manuel Neuer, and he's pretty damn expensive, so £43.5 Chelsea want £46.5 for Matt Summers. That is a lot cheaper than Jerome Boateng, but it is still pretty damn expensive. I'm going to bump that up 10 million and say 36 million. So Real Madrid accept our transfer offer. 30 and a half million is not too bad for Sergio Ramos to be fair. So he wants 170,000 a week, two years, crucial first team player. And Bayern Munich accept 40 million for Jerome Boateng. I was not expecting that to be honest. He's probably my number one target. 180,000, three years, crucial first team player. Can we bring Jerome back to the Etihad? So at Atletico Madrid say 49 million for Ilkay Gundogan. I cannot remember what I counter offered, but do I want to get rid of Ilkay Gundogan? He was disappointing last season at the start, but started to pick things up in the second half. No, I'm going to reject and disallow all future offers for him. He stays. He is a part of the dream team. So Mangala wants a little bit more wages. At the moment, I can't give him that. And to be honest, he out of all the center backs we have, if I was to sell one, it would probably be Mangala. So here we are, the opening day of the Premier League season. Can we defend our title? Our season kicks off at Vicarage Road, taking on Watford. I'm honestly so excited to see how our squad can do in this Premier League season. My goal is to win the Premier League again. My ultimate goal, my all-time top goal for the Premier League in this series is to go on an Invincibles season. I want to go a whole season without losing any games. I don't know if it's going to be this season, potentially next season. Here is the Watford starting 11. They have a pretty strong side. Gallo up front we have to watch out for. Pantillium on the absolute caterpillar. 
is in goals. He is just so good on FIFA. And then here is our starting 11. It is a little bit rotational compared to the Community Shield final, basically because we had the Copper Europe versus Napoli in three days time. So I want to rest like uh, Otamendi and uh, some Neymar, players like that, Aguero. They still have it here, Watford. Kapue turns, they hit that one save. Lads, you know what time it is. 41 yards out, this is Cristiano Ronaldo zone. Come on, Cristiano, knuckleball. Oh, good save, get the rebound. Oh, wow, how did he get that one? How didn't we score? Well, one on the head of there. Back to Ronaldo, flicks that one over. Ronaldo hits it, oh, another save. That would have been an awesome goal. Raheem Sterling to cross this one in here. He's going to whip it. Aubameyang, get your head up. There it is, the opening goal for the Premier League season. Pierre-Marie Aubameyang scoring a nice goal off the header to give us a 1-0 lead at Watford. Not going to lie, that was a delightful cross from Raheem Sterling. But what a top-notch header. A little bit of a stupid decision there from Pantillimon to rush out so far, but we'll take it. Igalo. Amrabat hits that one. Good save from Joe Hart. Good save again. Catch it. Jesus. Look at this angle for a free kick. Leo Messi. He's going to hit this one. Come on, Messi. Hits it. Oh, what a save from Pantillimon. That was like the perfect free kick. Amrabat on the attack here for Watford. Running up the line. We're just jockeying with Bellerin. Trying not to let them get a late equaliser. Messi. Can we hit them on the counter? Messi goes to Aubameyang. Where is the run? But it goes out to Sterling. I wanted Ronaldo there, though. Sterling playing that one. What a ball. What a one for, run from Ronaldo. Can he get his first goal for the Dream Team? Yes, he does. Ronaldo puts this game to bed. I was almost going to square it to a bombing yang, but that is a great finish. And the first celebration from Ronaldo. Great stuff. 2-0, three points on the opening day. There it is, lads. What an impressive performance on the opening game of the season. We were very, very impressive attacking-wise. Some decent defense, but I'm very excited to see what wonder goals we can score because think about some of the, ch the chances we had in this matchup. We almost scored some freaking bangers. So Ajax get back to us. 21 and a half million for Joe Hart. No way in the world. I'm just going to reject that. They don't seem too serious, so sorry, Ajax. Oh, wow. Okay, Chelsea accept 36 million pounds for Mats Hummels. That was unexpected. He wants 200,000 pounds. I will offer him 200,000 pounds. Crucial first team, three years. Transfer offer for Pierre Amaric Abomiang. AC Milan say 33 million. If they want him, his he's, um, chief executive range has gone up. I remember it was like 42 last episode or something like that. If they want him, they have to pay 48 million. Sergio Ramos declines our contract offer. Pretty interesting. All right, I'll leave that right here. See what Boateng and Hummel say, and we'll get back to you, Ramos. So, for the first time in this series, we are competing in the Copa Europe. I have never competed in this tournament. I don't think all FIFA long, so pretty interested to see what's the go here. We're taking on Napoli, who won the Europa League, so it should be a pretty interesting matchup. I'm not really... Too concerned if we win or lose. I would like to win, but it's not the end of the world. It's another piece of silverware and another trophy to add to the cabinet, but it'll be fun. So here is our starting 11 for today's matchup. As you can see, it's on our full strength side, resting a few players for our next Premier League game. Although I do have some big names in there like Neymar, Aguero. And then here is Napoli starting 11. So Pepe Reina is their goalkeeper. They've got Gonzalo Higuain, of course, now playing at Juve in real life up front. Jose Callihan, uh, Hamshik, Insigne. They've got a decent side. A few players that I might like to bring in as squad rotational players along through the series. Zabaleta. Go on. Aguero. Iannaccio. Good ball. Aguero. One last one. Coutinho. Hits it. Good save. Pepe Reina. What is that? That ball is just balancing on Albiol's head like he's a seal. Oh, they made the tackle. That was silly. Higuain. Good save, Hart. So a corner here for Napoli. It is Murray Kanshik, or whatever his first name is. Along the ground, they hit that one. Goal line clearance and another corner. Coutinho to Iannaccio. What can Iannaccio do? Out there to Leroy Sane. Crossing that one. Oh, it falls to Iannaccio. Hits it. Good save. Get the rebound. Leroy Sane corner. So we're pretty fortunate to have the corner here, but we're going to whip it in. It's going to be Coutinho going there. Get your header on it. Punched away to Aguero. 
He's going to head to that one to Otamendi. Otamendi back to Aguero. Aguero with the long shot puts it wide. Oh, Mangala, what are you doing? Oh, that was a freaking good shot from Insigne. Kelly Horn on the attack for Spurs. Spurs, Spurs. They get the header. What a save from freaking Joe Hart. So Napoli are looking pretty dangerous in this game. They have yet another corner. They whip that one in at the near post. Raul Albiol with a freaking rocket of a shot. Oh, Jesus, Neymar with the tackle. I'm looking for someone to square it to. We're going to finesse it instead. Saved. I probably should have taken it from further out. I was just hoping to square it. Napoli on the attack here. Gonzalo Higuain up against Mangala. Goes in there. They hit that one block. They get to the rebound. They hit it. Another save from Hart. Hart has been so busy in this game. Having a great game. Napoli have been really impressive. They get the header. Goal line clearance. Another one. Why are both our defenders on the ground? Nobody got up there. Don't know what Joe Hart was doing on that one. But Napoli have the lead in the Copper Europe. Not going to lie. It is a very well-deserved lead. But one Yama and Bellerin, I think, or Jordi Alba, should have just gotten up and gone for another header. So there it is, lads. Full time. Napoli are going to win the Copper Europe. They grinded out the result. A very good performance from them. Definitely a few players that impressed me. For the future, I might be able to sign a few of these players. Hamshik especially was very, very good. And Higuain. So, fair play, Napoli. That's our first ever loss in a final of any sort for this series. So, it had to come. Luckily, not a very important trophy. We will push on now and see if we can sign a quality centre-back before the end of the episode. Oh, crap, lads. Hubbles and Boateng accept their contract offers. So, who's cheaper? I think they're basically the same because Hummels is less in transfer value, but he costs more in wage. And Boateng, 40 million, but less in wage. Who do we go for? I think the most of you guys will probably want Jerome Boateng. Do I go for the main man, Mats Hummels? Or do I go for Jerome Boateng? Lads, I'm going to sign Jerome Boateng. I have used Hummels a lot this FIFA. I definitely want to go in for Hummels. If I had the transfer budget, I would sign both of them. But Jerome Boateng is the one I'm going to sign. So welcome to the Man City Dream Team, Jerome Boateng. Sorry, Mats, you're gonna not join us right now. Hopefully, at some other stage, you can be a Man City player. We do get £720,000 for our participation in the Copper Europe. So, lads, ignore the stamina. But right now, this is what my, probably my best possible starting 11 is. It's debatable between Company and Otamendi because Otamendi plays really well in this game. But you get the general idea of how good this side is. Anyways, lads, signing Jerome Boateng is the perfect way to conclude today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode of the Dream Team Career Mode series, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. We are pushing for 30,000 subscribers before FIFA 17. Check out my social media links, my Twitter, my Instagram, both of those linked down below. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you... Have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.